From the downtown to the uptown to the south. Welcome back to another very special Halloween edition of Made in Northern New York. I'm Olivia Grant. And I'm Josh Bond. And we have two very special guests joining us today, Matt McCluskey and Ashley Pistorius. Hi. Welcome, welcome. So tell us, do you love Halloween? What are your favorite Halloween things? Uh, the candy. So yeah. I can't be the candy. I have a son, so we're able to walk around and one for him, three for me. Yeah. <laughs> Easily my favorite part. It's like the Jimmy Kimmel sketch. Where, have you ever done that where you've taken away his candy? I haven't, yeah. He's a little too young. But eventually, I think this is the year. Eight years old, it's probably prime. And we'll get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ashley? What's one thing you love about Halloween? Oh, um, I love when it's over. <laughs> it frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also went to the haunted house at the Pettick Arcade. Yes. And we asked Northern New Yorkers what they thought of Halloween and if they had some scary, scary stories. And this is what they said. I don't know, just like the scaring people. My mom's always a big Halloween fan, so we always decorate the house and stuff. I'm just scaring people and having fun, you know? Um, I like to scare people. How do you do that? Um, I don't know. Um, really just, when they walk by, you just scream and they'll just scare. Seeing my kids in their costume the first time, it was just like my son was a little vampire. That's my favorite Halloween mem uh, memory, is seeing him as a little, little Dracula. I mean, that's, that was great. I think he was about four years old. This is our 36th year for American Candy Quam putting on this haunted house here at Paddock Arcade and we really enjoy doing this. Uh, it's a community event, it's family oriented and karate students come down, we donate our time and we started uh, setting this up back in September and we've been all got about 16 exhibits. We would like everybody to come on down and have a great time and again it's, it's, it's for children and it's for adults and if you want to be scared come on down, we got everything. What scares you the most? Someone's sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Some of those reactions were priceless. They were good. Well, it was a fun time going through that haunted house, but now it's time to make some drinks. I love drinks, and I love Halloween. <laughs> I'm the faves. All right, so the drink that we're making now is called the Grave Digger. It okay. has got bourbon whiskey from St. Lawrence Spirits, and it's got hard cider from Canaan Orchards up in Messina. Both very tasty. So let's get to mixing this. You put in about a shot of the bourbon, Shot, shot. shot ish. It's a college pour. <laughs> then you add about two shots of the cider. Again. It adds a whole bottle. <laughs> it's good cider. You add a touch of ginger ale. And your drink is complete. So that's your grave drinker. We've got some bourbon whiskey from St. Lawrence Spirits. We've got hard cider from Cane of Orchards, a little bit of ginger ale, and some ice in your glass. It turns out to be an amazing drink. Tastes phenomenal. It looks really good, Josh. So, so delicious. You're gonna have to try it and make it this year. I have to tell you guys, I am not a believer in ghosts. Do you have any ghost stories? Because you have to convince me I'm not a believer. <laughs> I've seen a couple in my youth. Okay. When I lived in an old farmhouse. In my house. youth? I lived in an old farmhouse where I did have some ghosts and some ghostly interactions, but no story nearly as good as Matt's. Oh, Matt. I have one, Olivia, that will make you change your mind instantly because, like you, I never used to believe. I'm not sure I so totally believe now, but I've got something after the break that will make you think. <laughs> 